Yo, 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 guys. This is really annoying fly. It's buzzing around. Can you hear it? It's pissing me off. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I look like I have, like, bullet holes in my shirt. But I was saging, and then I, like, hit my um, sage on something, and then, like, all the ash came rained down on me and burned holes in, like, my favorite jumper shirt. And I think that's a glue of some indiscriminatory, like, I don't know what it is. But what am I ranting about today? Oh, yeah. Okay. So yesterday was a very, like, informative day. So much stuff happened. So I went to the doctor about my asthma. I got an asthma puffer. Yay! Like, um, it's all the way over there, so I don't want to get it. But it's just your standard, like, preventative kind of puffer, like, once a day, like, that powdery shit that you breathe in, and then it kind of gets stuck in your throat, but that's all right. Steroids are good <laughs> because that is basically what asthma medication is, is steroids. But I instantly did feel, it's, it's almost like, I don't know, like, I feel like the Ventolin, when you're having an asthma attack, like, goes to your throat. But the other ones really, like, soothe into your lungs. And that was the best fit because I was like, oh, my God, I don't feel like my lungs are on fire. Like, I felt like I was living with, like, the after effects of touching poison ivy, but, like, in my lungs. So... I'm really glad that that helped because that's a really easy fix to that problem. Um, it's been once a day, so I find like I take it in the morning. Generally, by about this time, I'm starting to feel it like a little bit more. So then I look forward to like tomorrow's dose. I wish you'd given me one of the two a day ones, but like whatever. So there's that with the breathing. Why did my asthma get so bad recently? Because I was thinking about this and I was like, my asthma hasn't been bad since like, God, I don't know, like six years ago. Funnily enough, smoking made it better. Um, I don't know why, but my asthma, <clears throat> sorry, can't think straight. Now, oh, that fly stopped buzzing. No, it just started again. Okay. Asthma. Asthma. Yes. Very important discovery about the asthma and what was triggering it. Because I just thought it was like the winter air, right? Being winter. It's been going on for a few months and just kind of getting like worse. And like sometimes it would be worse than other times. But like lately it had been getting a lot worse again. And I'm sitting here thinking like, why? Why? So obviously whenever I have a question and whenever I have a problem and I want to fix it, I go like deep into the Google web search and read like every study, every article I can find that's even remotely close to the topic so that I can do as much research as I can and figure out what the fuck is going on with me because I'm not patient enough to wait for doctors. And I'm also not patient, like they just don't really do their job. Like, knowing what I know now, he really probably shouldn't have let me leave the doctor's office without this information. So I'm looking up, like, all the asthma websites, and I'm looking up all the side effects of my medication, like, everything going, what could be triggering this shortness of breath and, and everything. <laughs> anyway, basically, everywhere I read, I started seeing naproxen come up, which is INSA, which is a type of migraine medication that I've recently been prescribed. And basically everything that was coming up was like up amongst a bunch of other things that don't like have anything really to do with me. This was like the one common denominator. And I was like, holy shit, this is what has changed for me in the past few months. And that is the fact that I've been taking a shit ton of um, anti-inflammatories for like my pain, my migraines, my neck pain, my shoulder pain, my back pain, like everything. And anti-inflammatories are really effective at helping mask that pain and even I think long-term reducing inflammation. So it's not just the naproxen, although that's one of the worst and like strongest. I've also been taking these other anti-inflammatories for longer than the naproxen. So I'm not going to like just blame it on that one, although yeah. So bad news. I guess, for the pain in my body because now it's back and I basically had to take myself off 
all of my anti-inflammatory medication. Um, and I think that is making a huge difference because I can suddenly see a correlation between all of this shortness of breath and the chronic inflammation in my lungs and my asthma and the non-steroidal, the NSAIDs is what they call them. Um, I'm not impressive enough to list all of them. I'm not a doctor, obviously, but I do know that I check some of the medications I've taken and the anti-inflammatories do are on that list. So that I believe is what is triggering my asthma. And I really think that's like something you should probably find out like in your doctor's surgery. Cause then, you know, he let me leave and was like, here's a puffer, but he wasn't like, maybe this other stuff is causing this. Like, what's going on? I know when I tell him, he'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. It's like, why didn't you explore that? I get it. They don't really have enough time to, like, fully explore everything. But that is a big problem. Um, again, be your own scientist and be your own test subject because I think that's really important. I think if you do have asthma, it's really important to understand that whatever you put into your body or in your surroundings in general can also trigger that. I do have quite an intense indoor plant collection, so I was really hoping that it wasn't my indoor plant collection, which I don't think it is because I can breathe today and I've been playing with my plants all day. But yeah. I don't, like, I have been reading a lot of my other medication as well. A lot of mental health medication can cause, like, shortness of breath. But none of what the research I found was to do with, like, triggering asthma. So, still could be a thing that could happen, though. Um, and I do know that shortness of breath, particularly with things like... Uh, your antidepressants like serotonin syndrome that can be another thing um like shortness of breath can also be to do with anxiety but my doctor did mention though that if you are having bad asthma my uh propanol which is another like anxiety drug i take to slow my heart rate um will also make my asthma worse so he's like don't please don't take that 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 will be really bad too so he did give me that advice but yeah, there's a lot of things that I didn't think of that I really probably need to be more mindful of, of managing things like this in the future. And it probably does make sense in the past. It makes sense because I'm allergic to a lot of other painkillers and stuff in that range. Um, so it kind of would make sense that I am having some sort of allergy reaction because I just thought, yeah, if I don't take painkillers and I just take anti-inflammatories, I'll be totally fine. No. No, B. Just, just no. Oh, Chris Hemsworth is on my screensaver. That's pretty funny. Hi, Chris. Been watching the Avengers and Thor and everything. So, yeah. I think if you watch them, like, all in order, I think I'm up to maybe the Civil War. Like, I did the whole, like, from the beginning, like, the original Captain America, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, like, one, two, three, um... What else is in there? The other Captain America, like Winter Soldier one, I think. The first Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think I'm going to skip Ant-Man though, because Ant-Man sucks. I haven't seen Ant-Man in the Wasp, but yeah, I wasn't a fan of Ant-Man. So I might swap that one out for something else. But really cool when you like kind of skip the movie as well and just watch the credits at the end of the little Marvel snippets. I didn't realize that Thanos was actually, I think it was one of the Iron Man or one of the first Avengers, like way back when he was in the little credits at the back, like, I don't know, eight movies before he was finally in um, the last two Avengers. So little things like that are a little bit interesting. That's my rant for today anyway. My poor little bullet holes in my favorite little soft jumper. No. All right, guys. I don't really know what else to say, but it's been fun hanging out with you.